everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass geometry. In this video we're going to go over rotations by identifying the difference between clockwise versus counterclockwise rotations. We're going to go over rotation rules and then we're going to look at two examples when rotating about a point other than the origin. So rotations are a type of transformation in geometry where we take a point, line, or shape and we rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise, usually by 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and then those negative degrees, so negative 90, negative 180, or minus 270. So the difference between clockwise versus counterclockwise, you can see right here in this example, we have on the left, we rotate triangle ABC 90 degrees. So this positive 90 degrees, we end up, notice we end up turning it counterclockwise to the left. So the best way to remember this is always positive degrees, we're always going to the left. So the opposite of the way the clock turns. And on the right you can see we, we move this, we rotate this same triangle ABC to the right. When we went negative 90, minus 90 degrees we turned clockwise. So whenever we have those negative degrees we're always going to go to the right. So positive left negative right. So let's take a look. We're going to derive the, the coordinate rules for rotating our triangle ABC uh, 90 degrees counterclockwise. So we're, when we turn it to the left, let's see how our coordinates change from triangle ABC to the new triangle A, triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So, so let's write out all the coordinates for our original triangle right here, triangle ABC. So notice A, so we're just going to do this on the side here, 1, 2, 3, 4, so minus 4, 2, 3, 4, B is minus 4, 1, and C is minus 1, 1. So now let's take a look at our new coordinates after we rotated this 90 degrees to the left positive 90 degrees. So now our A prime is minus 4, minus 4. B prime is minus 1, minus 4. And then C prime is minus 1, minus 1. So now let's just look for the pattern here. How, how, are, these, how are these different? How are they the same? So just by looking at this, if we just focus on the x values, so, so let's look over here, our original x values, do we see them anywhere over here? So, so we do, so if we, look, if we take these away, notice these are the same exact values. So we know that we, our rule, we can write so far for rotating 90 degrees, we have x, y, and then this becomes, if you look at our pattern here, notice that these ex stay exactly the same. So I'm just gonna box them off so we can see that. So notice we have negative four, negative four, one, and then over here we have negative four, negative four, one. So this, this is x, y, we start with, and then over here, um, we know that x is gonna remain the same on this side. And now if you look at our y coordinates, what happens to our y coordinates? We had four and now we have negative four. We have 1, then we have negative 1, we had 1, negative 1. So this actually becomes negative y. So we go from when we rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise, we flip and then negate the y value for each coordinate. So that's how we derive these rules. So we could kind of see it visually first and then find out what we're doing to each and every coordinate. And this rule works for all 90 degree rotations. So we just derived the rules for rotating 90 degrees counterclockwise. And now here are the rest of the rotation rules which can be derived the same exact way. So on the left we have all the counterclockwise rules when we are rotating to the left for all those, those positive degree rotations, 90 degrees, 180, and 270. Those are like the main ones. And on the right we have the clockwise rules where we're rotating to the right. So rotating in that same direction as a clock for all those negative degree values. Minus 90 degrees, minus 180, minus 270. 
So now that we know all the different kinds of rotation rules, let's take a look at our first example. So triangle ABC is rotated minus 90 degrees about point K. Show the newly rotated triangle marked as A prime, B prime, prime, C prime. So the first thing you might notice here is that we are not rotating about the origin like we're all used to. So this is a little bit different. So the first thing I always like to do is kind of draw a new axis stemming from originating from like our new point of rotation. So since our, we're used to rotating about the origin, now we're going to be rotating about point K. So we're just going to make two lines, which will kind of be like our new X and Y axis for this problem. So now that we have our new X and Y axis, we can find the coordinates of triangle ABC in relation to our new coordinates. So, so let's start writing at our new coordinates. So A is minus two, one, two, three, three. B is minus one, up one. And C is minus two, zero. So now all we need to do is just remember or you know, take a look at our rotation rules for rotating minus 90 degrees. So, so before we even do that, just a refresher of minus 90 degrees, we know that we're going to, since it's a negative, we know we're going to be going clockwise, that same shape as a clock. And we're going, going, going to be going, we're going to be rotating this triangle to the right, just so we get a picture of what we're doing. So now that we we know that, let's look at our rotation rules. So our rotation rules for rotating minus 90 degrees, we end up, what do we end up doing to the coordinates? They started as x, y, which is what we have here. And what we end up doing is we, we switch and then negate the x. So a prime, if we switch and negate the x, so that means, so remember this is x, y, so that means y is gonna be the same and then we're gonna get, negate the x. So y was three, so it remains three. And now minus two will just become positive two. And the same thing will happen to b prime. So we're gonna move y over, which is just positive one. And then we're gonna negate this minus one. And same thing here, zero, nothing happens to zero either way. So, but we're gonna move that over. And then this minus two will just become positive two. And now we could just graph our new coordinates. So we have a prime. So remember, we're using this new axis routing from point K as our new guide. So a prime is one, two, three, up two, and label it a prime. B prime is one, one, and then C prime is zero, two. So now we're just going to connect our dots. So notice we have our triangle, everything looks good. If you're not sure, you could check out like, oh, is the distance the same from A to C? So A to C notice is three units away from each other. A, A prime, C prime also three units away from each other. So you can do little things like that if you're not sure if you did this right. And remember, we, are go we went 90 degrees, minus 90 degrees and clockwise. And that's our answer. So as long as you remember those rules and remember to make our new axis. This question should be pretty easy. In our next example, we're given point M is rotated 90 degrees about point K, which point represents the new image of point M after the rotation. So notice this time we don't have any coordinates to work with. We don't have any coordinate plane to work with. We just have these little dots here. So let's identify the points we're looking at. So point M is what we're gonna be rotating and we're going to be rotating it by 90 degrees, so that's positive. So we know we're going to be going counterclockwise because it's that positive degree. So we're going counterclockwise or to the left this time. And we're going to be rotating about point K. So this is kind of like our point of origin, but now we don't have a coordinate uh, plane to just easily draw an axis. We can't really do that. So what we're gonna need are some tools. We're gonna need a protractor and a ruler. So the first thing to do here is to draw a point 
So let me just label this origin and then point we're rotating. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is to take our ruler and to draw a line starting at the origin to the point we're rotating. So that would just be from K to M. And now what we're gonna do is take our protractor and just line it up with the line we just drew and then take our ruler and measure out 90 degrees because that's what we're looking for. And we're going to the left, remember? So we're gonna wanna go this way. So 90 degrees. So notice this lines up the 90 degree line. And we're just gonna draw a line. So just we're gonna complete that line with our ruler. And notice we end up, so this is a 90 degrees. We went to the left and notice we hit this point L. So L, that's our answer, that's, that's it. So as long as you have a ruler and a protractor and you know how to use them, you should be able to answer these questions super easily. So if you're looking for more, check out the practice questions. The link is in the description below. Also, if this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating.